Hello. Welcome to Drug Era Talk. Uh, today we're talking with Dr. Uh, Jesse Garcia about the drug Warfarin. I'm Matt Hamilton. I'm a trial attorney specializing, specializing in drug errors. Uh, Doug, uh, Dr. Garcia, what is your area of specialty? Well, um, Matt, I am a clinical pharmacist who is an expert in the uh, drug distribution and its effects on the body. Okay. Uh, what does warfarin do in the human body? Warfarin inhibits the vitamin K uh, process or the clotting factors, um, which inhibit the body from being able to actually make a blood clot. Okay. And what other names is warfarin known by? Uh, warfarin is also called by two different brand names. It's a little unique in that it's called uh, warfarin, and then the brand names would be Coumadin and Jantamin. What are some of the errors that are made by medical professionals uh, in giving warfarin to people? Um, what we can typically see as far as uh, errors would be uh, drug interactions that are, are not known or um, fail to mention. So what I mean by that is you might have a physician who prescribes two different medications. Uh, one is warfarin and another medication that can change the level of warfarin in the body. Are there any issues with uh, food interactions? Uh, warfarin does have an interaction with um, foods that are rich in vitamin K. Those are typically your uh, green leafy vegetables. Um, we also see interactions with some of the over-the-counter medications, such as aspirin and naproxen. Should the doctor or pharmacist talk to you about these interactions? Absolutely. Um, at every consultation, uh, before you leave the physician's office, they should talk with you about it. And then uh, when you leave the pharmacy, they should also talk to you about it, just to give you the same uh, briefing that I had regarding uh, the potential um, interactions that you might see. Uh, are there any issues coming with errors on dosages? In terms of dosages for warfarin, what we typically see is, um, unlike most medications where your dose will typically stay the same, with warfarin, your dose can change from week to week. So. Um, you might see a five milligram dose one week and then a seven milligram dose the following week. Gotcha. Uh, are there any side effects uh, that b may result from an error from a physician or a pharmacist? Well, typically we talk about most side effects when the medication is actually dispensed, but in warfarin in particular, you are going to want to let uh, the patients know what to look for. Those would be, you know, bleeding, uh, you might see nosebleeds, uh, small bruises. Uh, those are typical side effects that you might see when you're first starting out as that dose is normalizing. How serious can the side effects get from medication errors on warfarin? Uh, with warfarin itself, uh, you can see um, internal bleeding. Those would manifest themselves in uh, vomiting. You might see them with blood in the stool, um, a very large bruising that would be unusual, um, up to and including death. If you're a victim of one of these medication errors, if you're seeing these sorts of problems uh, while taking Coumadin or Warfarin, what should you do? Well, as we always um, will suggest to make sure that you have an updated medication list and be sure to take this to your physician um, at every visit. Uh, you also want to include a small portion of that, which is medications that you are taking for short-term therapy, such as um, antifungals or antibiotics. Uh, in the case of, as you asked, whether or not you're seeing these side effects, you will most definitely want to go and get seek immediate medical attention and take this list of medication to them so that they know maybe what the cause might be of those side effects or well, those effects. If you're saying. taking warfarin or you're taking Coumadin and uh, you see some of these side effects, but they, they, to you, you don't want to bother somebody on it, uh, would it be reasonable to just ignore them? I would say definitely not. What might seem like a small nosebleed or a small bruise might be a sign of something else, uh, something more uh, serious. So if you see any of these side effects, especially when you're starting out with warfarin, or if something is different than what you've seen in the past, if you're a patient who's been on it for a while, you most definitely want to get seen and do not ignore it. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. Garcia. It's been a pleasure talking with you again. Uh, if any of the uh, people listening uh, want more detailed information, uh, they should access our website at worldwideweb.law-kc.com where additional information of great detail is listed. Uh, you might also look at our YouTube channel, uh, which has additional videos uh, which someone might see. Uh, thank you again for uh, coming and listening to a Drug Era Talk.